back to John's Conscious Life. Today I've got a video that is about a topic that is kind of one of those tricky subjects and I know that everybody has a different opinion about it. I'd like to share mine today and also just hopefully provide a little bit of information. And that is about the flu vaccination. Now I'm here in Canada and in Canada we have 10 available flu vaccines that get used. Um, although I don't know that anybody really gets to choose which one that they get. There are different circumstances, I believe, where some, you know, one would be choosed over the other. But anyway, the reason why I came across this topic and why I wanted to make this video is because there's a lot of controversy about it, you know, and, and it came up at work the other day where people were saying like, oh, hey, you're going to get your flu shot and they want to do a clinic at our workplace and stuff. And I just... I personally have just never felt the need to get the shot. Um, I've never noticed that I get exceptionally sick if I don't. Um, I have gotten it when I was younger, like when I was a kid, and they basically made us do it in school. Um, but yeah, I have no desire to get it. And I wasn't really 100% educated on what was in it, but I just knew that there were some things in it that I didn't want in my body. So the reason for making this video though is because I decided that I should get educated, should know exactly what's in all the flu vaccinations here in Canada. And some of these are actually used in the States as well. But, um, so I came across some information that makes me definitely certain, 100% that I will not be getting a flu vaccination now or ever again. Um, and so I'm gonna share a little bit of what I found. First of all, from a vegan standpoint, you really cannot justify getting a flu shot unless you can prove that you will 100% die if you don't get it, which I really don't think you're going to be able to do that. You cannot get a flu shot because all of the vaccinations in Canada, and I believe in the States as well, although I did just research from immunized.ca, um, all of the flu vaccinations contain egg protein and or chick protein, and some of them contain gelatin and other animal products as well, on top of all of the nasty chemicals that I'll get into a little bit as well. So, again, if you're a vegan, you really can't in good conscience get a flu vaccination in Canada, even if you believe that it's something that you kind of need without being able to justify it really 100%. I mean, that's gonna be a tricky topic. So I'm not gonna really just, yeah, I'm gonna leave that to the individual to make that call, but technically it's not vegan. And I'd be okay if someone could prove to me 100% without a doubt that they would 100% die they didn't take the immunization, but I think we know that that's not the case. So I'm just, I've got some facts in front of me here, some uh, in ingredients and whatnot from the different vaccinations in Canada. So I'm just gonna share some of those. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna leave links in the description and stuff for this video, um, kind of that in order of the ground that I cover. And Immunize.ca tries to be funny a little bit. They had this little PDF file, like the top 10 reasons why, or excuses why people don't get vaccinated. It's ridiculous. Um, I'm going to link that as well. It's, it's preposterous. Like it's an attempt to be funny, but it's really not. It's just aggravating. But, um, and I'll leave the links where you can actually go and get all the ingredients and stuff yourself. But, um, I have info on eight of the 10 approved flu shots for Canada. The other two, I don't know if I just edited them out of my text here by accident or what, but I really just want to get this posted. And I know that the um, egg protein was in the other two as well that I don't have the information for in front of me. But actually, before I get into the flu vaccinations, I want to give kind of a um, quick mention to the rotavirus vaccine that we have here in Canada. It's called Rotatech, 
and this vaccine is for protection against severe diarrhea in infants and it's pretty much given to most infants I believe but Rotatec contains fetal bovine serum which is a byproduct of the meat industry because the fetal bovine serum is produced from blood collected at commercial slaughterhouses when they kill the cow, the mother cow, and it's got a fetus inside, they extract it. They extract the serum from that fetus. And through the processing that it goes through, they're able to extract this serum. And that is what is in Rotatec for severe diarrhea in infants. But also in Rotatec is stuff like uh, PCV, which is a virus found in pigs for which there's no specific treatment. Although in brackets it does say, uh, at the source that I'll list here, although segregation and euthanasia helps. So there's a virus that's found in pigs for which there really is no specific treatment. Um, and it's a digestive, mostly a digestive issue in pigs. We take that and some, some <laughs> bovine fetal serum, we mix that together with some other stuff like formaldehyde and crap, and we inject that into our infants to protect them from diarrhea. Okay, on to the flu virus vaccinations. So they all contain egg protein. Some of them contain chick protein as well. But we've got some other nasty stuff in there like formaldehyde, uh, gelatin, and um, what are some of the other things here? Uh, monosodium glutamate, a very salty preservative that we know is bad for us. Um, yeah, just all kinds of just crap. And with formaldehyde, because this is the one that really stuck out. Oh, um, thimerosal, I believe it's pronounced as well, which is actually a form of mercury. Um, but yeah, so for formaldehyde, this I got from a website that I'll link below, so I'm just going to quote this. In view of its widespread use, toxicity, and volatility, exposure to formaldehyde is a significant consideration for human health. In 2011, the U.S. National Toxicology Program described formaldehyde as known to be a human carcinogen. In the European Union, the maximum allowed concentration of formaldehyde in finished products is 0.2%. And any product that exceeds 0.05% has to include a warning that the product contains formaldehyde. In the United States, a bill was passed in Congress on July 7, 2010, regarding the use of formaldehyde in hardwood plywood, particle board, and medium density fiber board. The bill limited the allowable amount of formaldehyde emissions from these wood products to 0 0.09 parts per million. It was declared a toxic substance by the 1999 Canadian Environmental Protection Act. So, of course, on the website uh, for the immunizations and vaccinations and um, on the Immunize Canada website, which is obviously promoting these things, it doesn't really say how much formaldehyde is in it. Because All they just say is that, oh, well, it occurs naturally in the body. And that's true. In very small trace amounts, it does. And um, all they can say is that there's less in the vaccine than is in the body naturally at any time. Okay. But we also know that when we add too much protein to protein that exists naturally, that causes harmful effects. We, anything, if we have too much of it in the system at once, can cause, um, you know, negative side effects. But... The bottom line here really is that even if you don't give a shit about the animals, um, if you aren't vegan, there's known toxic deadly ingredients in these vaccines. I mean, maybe these small amounts are okay. Uh, maybe it won't hurt you to have the tiny little bit that once a year or something. Sorry if you hear Dylan crying in the background, but she decided she wants to be in this video. Anyways. Even if you don't care about the animals and taking it from a vegan standpoint, is it really worth the risk when we know that 
we can achieve a healthy state by just eating mostly whole plant foods. You know, we don't need the immunizations, the vaccinations, the treatments, um, all of these things like medicine is almost obsolete or can become that way, or at least down that path. If we're just eating healthy and being healthy individuals, we're going to have the immune system that we need. So I don't know. I mean, we know that it can reverse almost any form of illness to just eat healthily. We know the reasons not to consume or inject animal products yet. Here we go. We've got egg protein, chick protein, cow fetuses that have to be removed from the slaughtered mother that we're going to eat later. And then, you know, process heavily to re get this serum that we put in our babies. Um, I don't know. I guess the point of this video is just uh, be informed, please, when you um, before you go get the flu shot, because it's just one of those random things that we just automatically seem to think we need to do. It's one of those just um, it becomes just a repetitive pattern, like, oh, just do that once a year and it becomes part of the, the habit. And we don't really think about it. And I think that we need to be informed and just at least know what you're putting in your body. Um, so again, if you're vegan, don't get the flu shot. If you're not vegan, <laughs> you probably still shouldn't get the flu shot, but I'll leave the links you need to make up your own mind on that, guys. So um, thanks for watching anyway. Just make an educated decision. That's all I'm asking. Uh, even if it's not an ethical-based decision, just be educated. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time, guys. Bye.